Hello awesome people, Orson here, and today I'm going to be talking about how long a video should be, and specifically how making the video the right length can generate massive amount of growth in your marketing channels versus not getting your video seen at all, because social media takes into consideration how long someone watches your video as the predominant factor in whether they recommend it to more people or less. Now the reason why I'm making this a video and not just giving you a number is that 99% of marketing agencies will actually give you the wrong answer to this. But there has to be a pretty predominant reason if they're all doing it. So if you go on any marketing agency's website and so forth, especially the generalists, they'll give you this number. It's a very arbitrary. It'll be anything from under a minute, two minutes is the ideal length, 10 minutes, five minutes, four minutes has the best retention. They all give you these random numbers. And simply put, they're not right. But the reason why they're giving you a very standard number is it gives you very easy to consume actionable advice, makes you feel good, and it's easy to agree with. That in itself is a marketing tactic. When you can give someone advice they agree with, they trust you that little bit more. But I do not care about giving you advice that's comfortable. Do you love me or do you love me not? I'm here to give you the advice that's going to get you the results, getting you think critically and making those changes that actually make an impact. So with that said, let's actually get into what these results should look like. So typically a video will go from anywhere from 10 seconds to three hours. So let's break it down. Simply put, there's a spectrum on the graph and certain styles of videos will fit within ranges and we'll start with the ranges and then break it down to a, a specific minute. So to begin with, there are three styles of videos or more so there are three reasons people go on social media media seeking content. These are information seekers, entertainment seekers, and connection seekers. So simply put information, I'm looking for information. How to fix the lawnmower? How long should a video be? Then there's entertainment seekers. These are people who's like, I don't care who I look at, just give me something fun to watch. I want that dopamine hit. So this can be anything from crazy game shows, recreating Willy Wonka factories to throwing basketballs off a dam. Now, I know my target audience, you're mostly business people. You're definitely going for that information, but it might be the other one, which is connection. So connection is when someone's going online because they're wanting to feel some form of social interaction. And the best example I can give of this with say video content is thinking of the Kardashians show. Yeah. Never watched it. I don't know what the full thing's called. I don't know anything about what you're talking about. But I want to feel like I'm hanging out with Khloe Kardashian and Kim Kardashian. Well, here you can follow them along the day. It hits something in our brain that gives us that social hangout reward system. So 99% of you will be starting off with information that it's just fact. And as you grow bigger and bigger, sometimes you might be moving more into the connection phase. But mostly right now, you're definitely information. As I get into these ranges, they can vary. So for instance, entertainment is anywhere from 10 seconds to three minutes. So usually looking at your YouTube shorts, your comedy skits, snippets of stuff. But if you're good enough, you can break this rule and go as long as you want. So for instance, if you're Mr. Beast, he typically goes for 10 to 15 minutes, but he's the biggest entertainer out there and he has money to put behind these videos. And other examples, Hollywood films, we watch them for about two hours. Obviously you can break these rules, but generally, especially if you're starting out, you want to be in that 10 seconds to three minutes. Moving on from that, we have information. So information videos are the mid-tier stuff you'd be expecting anywhere from about two minutes to 10. Again, you can go shorter or longer in the right situations, but typically you want to go for that length. Simply put, let's use the lawnmower as the example. If you're doing a lawnmower, how to fix it video, you'd be wanting anywhere from that two to four minute range because if you're doing anything less than two minutes, some people might be going, mm, you might be missing a nut when you're telling me how to put this back together versus if you go more than four or five minutes, they're going to go, nah, that's too complicated. Someone tell me a more simple way to do it. And then finally, there is connection. I want to hang out with someone. These can go anywhere from five minutes all the way up to three hours. And so you'll see these forms a lot in podcasts and you'll see them with these vlogs where people are just hanging out, talking about their day. And they typically go for 15 minutes on average. So look, those are your general ranges and where I recommend you start thinking. Now, again, most of you guys are information. So let's think two to 10 minutes. Well, how do we break that two to 10 minutes. Is it two? Is it three? Is it six? Is it 10? How do we know how long that video should be? And the simplest answer to this, and this is the nuance, is as short as it can while sticking to your values. If you know that to fix that lawnmower, 
it's going to take you five minutes to explain and make sure you talk about all the critical information, then you want it to be five minutes. You don't want to be making it four minutes and then you talk about this one safety precaution which could save someone's finger or make sure that the longevity of the lawnmower isn't sacrificed. You have your own values that you'd stick to and that's where your expertise and discernment comes in. But you don't want to make it seven minutes where you spend two minutes talking about all the situations where you could end up breaking the lawnmower and then need to fix it. You made a video titled how to fix this part problem with a lawnmower. Cover that. Don't talk about the situations that could cause it. Make that a separate video so that your audience can actually choose. And that's why a lot of these marketing agencies will tell you, hey, let's make these videos two minutes because it's going to challenge you to shorten down to the bare necessities, how long something should be. Now, as you get bigger at this as well, you can actually just start using your intuition. So if I'm talking about a problem, the size of the problem will affect how long I want this video to be. An example of this would be using a chocolate review versus car reviews. There is a massive difference in the price on these purchases. If I'm looking at chocolates, I probably want two minutes highlights, top five chocolates that are in front of me, which one's going to be either the tastiest, the healthiest, that sort of thing. To the point, actually, chocolate's such a cheap review that we're not even going to look at that usually. Most people are going to actually just buy the chocolate bar. So if I was to get a more realistic example, I would be looking at something like tool reviews, like screwdrivers, drills, hammers, that sort of stuff. That is actually quite a popular category. And that's kind of in that range where you want a really quick five, 10 minutes, top five to 10 things. So like one minute per tool, essentially. Moving into a car though, cars are a massive purchase. In fact, I'm going to spend multiple sit down sessions going through it, but I want these to be comprehensive. So in this regards, I would be a two minute car review is only going to tell me I'm getting a high level overview view. I want an expert to go in depth with me. Tell me what this car is going to be like on the day to day. Tell me every little detail so I can consider everything because I'm putting a lot of money down and I want this to work out for me. If I'm looking at buying a car and it's going to cost me 30 grand, I'm probably going to spend about 10 hours considering it. So if I can have two hours of someone just talking to me about the ins and outs of this car, the details, and it's like a video podcast where I can listen to it and he talks, there may be visuals, but I can listen only. I'm going to really enjoy that content. And the key thing there I said is how much I want to listen to it. So this this is where having strong knowledge on empathy with your audience makes a big difference. And it's funny because we will quite often get this wrong. So one of the things I recommend you do is ask a bunch of your customers, hey, I'm going to talk about this. How long would you expect this video to go for? That's the length you want to make your video. And so even in this video here, how long should a video be? I asked Danny, my guy next door, and he said two minutes. But this video is 10 minutes and I believe through my own values needed to be 10 minutes. So how do I go from that two to 10 minute gap? Well, in this case, I made sure I packaged it differently. So if you went back and watched my introduction again, I talked about how social media, this is one of the highest determining factors in whether they share your video or not. And this simply is true. The big takeaway here is you should ask your audience, how long do you expect a video should be? And then make it that length. And if you can't, because it's important to get this right, make sure you package the video. So your title, your thumbnail, how it's introduced to the audience, make sure it's in a way that emphasizes why you need to have this extra amount of time watching. Hey everyone, post-production Orson here. So if you like the idea of learning how to package a video, choosing the right thumbnail, choosing the right title, then definitely hit that notification, subscribe and bell icon and hit that like button. So that way you'll get notified straight away as soon as I release the video on how to do it. If I've already created it, I'll link it at the very end of this video. So don't rush off and find it. It'll be here if it's ready. Back to the video now. Simply how long should a video be? A video should be as long as it needs to be and meets your customer's expectations. And if it's it's not fitting one of those two, you either need to change the length or change the expectation of the outcome. So I believe that would be a great spot to end this video. If you have any questions, thoughts or comments, please leave them below. And as well, I've just started this YouTube channel up. I would love to see it grow to its full potential. So don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. It keeps this channel going and will actually tell me that this is something worthwhile to pursue. And until then, have a great day.